Hey everyone, we're going to solve for n. This is involving permutations. Here's our formula. What we're going to use is this formula right in here, and we're going to expand our permutation. And before we get started, I just want to say if we have 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial, uh, we could write this as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial. That way you can cross out this. So we, we're always subtracting 1 when we go down. And then once we get to the 4 factorial, we can cancel it out. And I wanted to bring it up because a lot of times uh, students sometimes use calculators a lot and they forget that they could do that. All right. So what we're going to do is rewrite this using our formula. So we have 3. And then this formula here is going to be n factorial using this divide it by n minus 4 factorial. And then this side we get the numerator is n minus 1 factorial. So the denominator, remember this is our n. So we're going to write n minus 1 minus 5 factorial. All right, this ends up being n minus 1 factorial and the denominator ends up being n minus 6 factorial. So now we're going to use uh, what I discussed earlier. We're going to expand this all the way to n minus 4 factorial. So we're going to get n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial and these cancel out. Now this one here, we're going to write this as n, so this is going to equal, let me see if I can, no, I'm going to write it down here, n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 times n minus 5 times n minus 6 factorial divided by n minus 6 factorial. So these cancel out. Now remember this is an equal. So now let's see if we can cancel anything out. Well, we can cancel these two out, these two, and these two. So on the left-hand side, we're going to have 3n, and on the right-hand side, we're going to have n minus 4, n minus 5. So let's see. Here we go. I just want to make sure. Whoops. Keep doing that. I want to make sure you see the problem. All right. So now we have 3n equals n minus 4 times n minus 5. Now we have 3n. Let me just foil this out. So get n squared. Um, minus 4n minus 5n uh, plus 20. So we have 3n equals n squared minus 9n plus 20. Let's subtract the 3n from both sides because this is a quadratic. So we get 0 equals n squared minus 12n plus 20. This can be factored as n minus 2 and n minus 10. So our n equals 2 and n equals 10. However, for this one, we can't use the n equals 2 because here, this number here has to be greater than 4 or equal to 4. So basically, we have to discard the 2. Now, my only answer is going to be n equals 10. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>